When the rice paddies are colored golden, why don't we visit the place where Wansong, the 38th king of Silla, rests in peace? All the golden sunbeams might gather together and stay there. As you approach, you may feel that there are some figures staring at you in the distance. However, there will be no greetings between you, for they are stone figures. Only Mount Tuam San may greet you by nodding in the distance. King Wansung has been slumbering for a thousand years. There seems to be no more comfortable place for this. The low hill blocks the north wind, and the pine trees guard the tomb like a folding screen. The entire tomb looks cozy and friendly, making it look more like a garden. This tomb is an example of the royal tombs of Silla. This stone pillar called the Hua Pyo Seo marks the boundary of the tomb's ground area. The most surprising thing in this area is this western guardian. Look at those arms full of strength. It is said that he looks like a Saudian, who were well known as Silk Road traders. He holds a club rather than a sword in his hand. It is wound with a strong string to which iron chunks are tied. He might unwind and whirl the string if necessary. The guardian statue in the west has a beard rolled up and spread like a pattern and has a dangling wallet on his hip. This is said to be a banang used by Zogdian merchant of the Silk Road. This is a mural painting on the west wall of the palace of Aprochia in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. The men in the painting have three similarities to this guardian statue. Headband, wallet, and skirt-like clothes. These figures are an envoy from a country called Chagania, come to have an audience with Sogdian king in the 7th century. Sogdian people usually wore these headbands, especially the young people who did manual work among their caravan. On the far right of this painting, a Goguryeo or Silla envoy from the Korean peninsula is also depicted. Look at the camel riders in this picture. Don't they wear headbands? These similarities are proof of the cultural exchanges between Silla and Central Asia. The face may remind you of a Deva king in a Buddhist temple. Without the real mother in Silla, the sculptor wouldn't have been able to make this piece. This statue of a civilian official reveals his strong personality on his face. There is some similarity to the cray figuring of civilian officials. He wears armor over his official uniform and holds a long sword with both hands. You cannot see the handles, but you can see the tip of the sheath between his two feet. Look at that official cap. The cap badge is embossed in a pentagonal shape, and flowers or cloud patterns are embroidered on both sides. The pentagon might have been made of metal. If you look at his back, you'll find that he wears a kind of Chinese armor called Yangdangge. The stone guardians on the west side seem to protect their own pine trees first. Look at the four stone lions. They are friendly rather than scary. The ones in the southeast and northwest guard the front, but the ones in the southwest and northeast guard the south and north respectively. The beast in the northeast is ready to attack with its front far raised. In Sapgung Yusa, it is said that King Wansung was fortunate to become king. He was the 12th generation descendant of King Nemul, so he was a distant relation to the contemporary kings Hegong and Sundal. His name was Kim Gyeongshin. 
During the reign of King Sandok, the former king, Kim Ju Won was a prime minister, and Kim Kyung Shin held a lower office than him. One day, Kim Kyung Shin had a dream in which he took off his official hat and put on a white hat instead, entering the Cheonggwansa Temple's well with a twelve-stringed instrument in his hand. When he asked an expert to interpret it, he was told that it was a sign of dismissal from his governmental office and of being imprisoned with a kang on his neck. On hearing this interpretation of his dream, he confined himself at home in despair. However, when a man named Yeo Sam heard about his dream, he stood up and said, I must bow first. He said that Kim Kyung Shin would become a next king. Taking off the official hat is a sign that no one will take a higher office. Putting on a white hat is a sign of putting on a crown. Holding a 12-stringed instrument is a sign of succeeding to the throne as the 12th generation descendant of King Nemul. And entering the well of Cheonggwansa Temple is a sign of entering the palace. The interpreter prophesied that favorable incident would occur if he performed a secret sacrificial rite to the river god of the Alchon. Alchon is another name for the North River in Gyeongju. Later, when King Sundog, the 37th king, died, People expected Kim Ju Won to become the new king. However, his house was in the north of the Alchon, which flooded unexpectedly, so he couldn't come across the flooded river at once. When Kim Kyung Shin entered the palace first and ascended the throne, people bowed to the new king, saying that it was heaven's will that Kim Ju Won was not able to arrive in time. Kim Ju Won, who failed to ascend the throne, went to Myeongju, currently called Gangneung, and became the founder of the Gangneung Gim clan. King Wonsun composed a song called Sin Gong Sanwe Ga because he had a gift for prophesying. But the song has not been handed down. During his reign, an envoy from the Dang dynasty arrived in Gyeongju. The envoys with three dragons under a spell converted them into fish, put them in a barrel, and left the Gyeonggi. But the king chased them and retrieved the three dragons. These were actually the national guardians. The envoys were amazed by the wisdom of the king. The story about this tomb site is recorded in a stele. According to the stele text authored by Che Chi Won, there was originally a temple called the Donggoksa Temple here. Since this place was an auspicious ground for the royal tomb, the temple had to be moved to another place, and the tomb of King Wansung was built here. The temple was renamed as Songboksa Temple. Now there are two pagodas and a monument stele to De Songboksa Temple, recently restored in the temple site. Now let's look around the royal tomb. A square altar is placed in front of the tomb. The tomb is surrounded by 42 stone pillars with two stone railings between them. They look as if 42 women are dancing the Gangang Suwale, a Korean traditional dance with arms on one another's shoulders. The mound is supported by two kinds of flat stones. Corner stones protrude a little more than the other face stones. They stretch deep into the barrier mound and cross up and pull the other stones so that they may not fall outside. They also prevent the mound from collapsing. One of the 12 zodiac animals is carved on every third corner stone. Every zodiac animal wears human clothes and holds a weapon but has an animal head. The zodiac animals are mouse, cow, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, 
horse, sheep, monkey, cock, dog, and pig. Most of the animal statues are turning their head toward the horse, which is looking to the south. One of the qualities all the twelve animals have in common is that their lips are wide, so that they look very generous. King Wansung had five children, but none of them succeeded to the throne. There were three kings in his grandson's generation, and two of them became kings by assassinating their nephew. There are five kings in the great-grandson's generation. Two of these assassinated their cousin kings, and three kings were assassinated. When there was such a cruel feud and such terrible strife, how could the kingdom survive? Some believe that this bloody discord could be ascribed to this auspicious looking tomb. If so, is even this warm autumn sunlight here just a trick of history? How can the reason for dynasty's decline be different from that of greedy family's fall? And let's stop talking about such brutal history. On this beautiful golden field, how about enjoying pieces of sculpture created a thousand years ago? If we discount the historical context, we can see them as truly outstanding works of art. When you leave the tomb of King Wansung, we cannot shake hands with the stone figures, but they will stare at you from behind like an old friend as you leave. You may feel as if they were pulling your back. 